Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to create the most realistic type of skin texture in this tutorial. We'll cover the A to Z of the process. Like in a previous video, I shared an action with you, but this time we are going to dive deeper into the whole process. This one is even more robust than the action we shared. This is everything about skin texture in its most realistic way. I will delete this layer and will create everything from the beginning. So pay keen attention as we go through the whole tutorial from A to Z. So the result of the whole thing is going to be something like this. You play with opacity later on so that it will not look too unrealistic. So this was the before, this is the after. We are going to be covering three essential steps. So delete this layer and let's start from the beginning. Duplicate the background layer two times for this step one. Rename color and texture or whatsoever fits you. Now turn off the texture layer, come down to the color layer, go to filter, blow, Gaussian blow. Radius of 14 was what I used previously, which is what is right for this image. Use this radius from the start. Later on, you will know the right radius to use for each of your images because you get the hang of it and you manipulate it as much as you want. Now click on OK. Turn on the texture layer. Go to image, apply image. When I apply image, you leave everything at default if they are already like this, but if they are not, take note of the blending mode. It should be on subtract. The scale should be 2 and the offset should be 128. Now, the layer is going to be the color layer. You understand? Make sure it's on the color layer. Now, the source untitled, which is the name of the file. This one is untitled one. So, it will be the name of any file you have open on your Photoshop. So, the channel RGB. Make sure the invert layer is unchecked. If everything is like this now, you click on OK. Change the blending mode to linear light. Now, we are going to deal with the texture layer. Duplicate the texture layer by dragging it down to this plus icon or clicking on Ctrl G on your keyboard. Now, hold Alt on your keyboard or Option key on Mac. When you see this arrow, you left click to clip this texture copy layer to the texture layer. Now, this was the before, this is the after. Reduce the opacity to 40 or between 40 and 50. We leave this one at 44. Group these two layers or three layers, I mean to say, and rename it as step one. Step one. Now we go on to step two. Stick with me. In the step two, you come down here to layer, new layer. Now change the blending mode to overlay. Tick, fill with overlay, neutral color, 50% gray. Now rename this step two. Now click on OK. Make sure you convert this to smart object. Why are we converting it to smart object? So that the filters we are going to be applying to this layer can be later on manipulated. That is the values of the filter. So just come to filter, camera roll filter. Now in the camera roll filter, come to the effects section or the FX section, depending on the version of camera roll you are using. You see the grain. Increase the grain to 80 or 85 there about the size Increase the grain size to 80 also. And the roughness, let's leave it at 60. Don't worry. This layer is a smart object layer. So you can come back and adjust these effects sliders later on. Now click on OK. Now, the next step is to come to filter, stylize, emboss. This is just to add depth to the grain we have added to this layer so the depth should be in the angle of the lighting if you don't know the angle the image was shot on just look at your image 
and change the angle. And when it feels right, you are really unsure that this is the angle of the lighting because we are just trying to get the texture to look as realistic as possible. So since this light is coming from the top right, I know the angle is around 130 or 150 or thereabout. So leave it at 150 and click on OK. Since this is a smart object, you can just double click on the emboss to bring out this again and adjust if you want to. Or double click on the camera roll to bring back the camera roll filter to adjust the grain, the size or the roughness. Now click on OK. Hope we are all moving along. Now, at this point, we go to the final step, which is the step three. If you are okay with all this adjustment we've made here, you create a stamp visible layer. How do you do that? Hold Control Shift Alternate E on your PC. The command or the shortcut will display on the screen for Mac users. Now, rename this step three. Convert this layer to smart object again because we are going to apply a final filter to this step tree. Now come to filter, camera roll filter. In a camera roll filter, I come to the basic section and increase the texture. Why is this the final stage? It's because we have already added digital texture using those green values. We've already enhanced the already available texture in the image and now we are enhancing the texture using the camera roll to finalize everything so this must come last now increase the clarity don't worry this value can easily be changed because we are on smart object if you like you can come to sharpen and increase the sharpening in the detail section but i don't think that's necessary for this image but let's just add a little bit of it since we are already here since this is a tutorial and this video will be uploaded to YouTube, I like to like make everything like on the high side so that I can see the effect visibly and easily. But when you are adding this to your image, make sure you don't overdo anything. Now, select the three layers, step one, step two, and step three. Group them together. Rename texture or whatsoever you like. Now, create a max. Control I to invert this max. You can see how blurred the image was. So, if you ended up having this kind of a blurred image after retouching it, or due to the way you light your image, or whatsoever, you can easily add texture like this. After creating the max, take your brush, make sure your foreground is white, and max this out. Or you review this effect wherever you find fit which is mostly on the skin go on to do this avoid the lips area wow this result is amazing and it's the best out there so just practice this process try it on your image And let me know the results you find in the comment section. Now this is too much, right? Just come to opacity and adjust the opacity to whatsoever you like. This was the before, very blurred looking image. And this is the after. This was the before, this is the after. You can go on to create an action for this so that instead of you going on recreating this whole process on area of your image you can just click on the action use the smart object filters to adjust every of the sliders to suit every of your images at this point you can go on to like this video if you haven't already subscribe to this channel because we'll be putting out more amazing tutorial we we'll plan on creating a full retouching process focused on beginners so if you have anything you want to see in such a video, let us know in the comment section. Happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.